three letters led to a huge misconception about the ancient Egyptian civilization. N T R, pronounced as nature. Some non-Egyptian Egyptologists, including Flinders Petrie, suggested that the word nature could mean God, but that wasn't precisely correct. The word nature is widely spread in many ancient Egyptian inscriptions, leading to the assumption that ancient Egyptians worshipped hundreds of deities. Actually, some count about 2,800 ancient Egyptian deities. What does the word nature actually mean? And what does it tell us about ancient Egyptians? We can spot more than seven uses of the word nature in the ancient Egyptian inscriptions. The roots of the term nature was used by ancient Egyptians to describe the forces of nature. To them, the underlying fabric of the universe was governed by these forces of nature. The ancient Egyptian word nature could be the root of the English word nature, which was also suggested by the Egyptian scholar Professor Ibrahim Karim. Sometimes nature is used to describe a connection to divinity and to describe persons who are connected to divinity. In some cases, the term nature could apply to any being that was in some way outside the sphere of everyday life, so a person with special qualities or capabilities. In some cases, it was used to describe deceased humans. It doesn't mean that the deceased person became a god. It means that the deceased human became connected or related to the forces of nature, which shows a philosophy rooted in their terminology. Egyptian religious art also depicts places, objects, and concepts in human form. These personified ideas range from deities that were important in myth and ritual to obscure beings only mentioned once or twice. That may be little more than metaphors. According to a different definition by Dimitri Meeks, nature applied to any being that was the focus of ritual. Nature could also be considered or translated as the symbol of. So the nature of something is the symbol of something. So when we say the nature of the moon, it means the symbol of the moon, not the god of the moon. Similarly, the nature of wisdom means the symbol of wisdom, not the god of wisdom. When we say the nature of fertility, for example, it means the symbol of fertility, not the god of fertility. By understanding how the ancient Egyptians used the word nature and how the word evolved, it becomes clear that the word doesn't merely mean god. It basically means connected to the forces of nature or connected to divinity. This understanding reveals a lot about the ancient Egyptian civilization and enables us to read the inscriptions from a very different perspective. The book The Pre-Dynastic Kings and the Pyramids of Egypt discusses this concept in detail. It also shed light and confirms that the idea that the pre-dynastic kings mentioned on the Turin list were not gods. They were kings connected to forces of nature or, in our modern terminology, who had a very good control and understanding of the laws of physics. A good example of that is Maat, which was a fundamental concept and symbol in the ancient Egyptian mythology, some falsely consider that she was a goddess. It represented the fundamental order, balance, harmony, and truth in the universe. Maat was often depicted with an ostrich feather on her head, symbolizing the concept of truth and justice. The ancient Egyptians believed that Maat was the foundation upon which their society, government, and even the entire cosmos were built. It was the duty of both humans and natures to uphold and maintain Maat, ensuring that the world remained in balance and functioning harmoniously. The concept of Maat encompassed several key principles, truth and justice, so Maat represented truth and fairness, it was believed that the truthfulness, honesty, and righteous behavior were essential for a stable and just society. The cosmic order, 
So Matt provided order and structure in the world, ensuring that the natural and social systems worked in harmony. Then, harmony and balance, Matt emphasized the importance of balance and equilibrium in all aspects of life. It was symbolized by the weighting of the heart against her feather in the judgment of the dead. Law and morality, Matt was the moral and ethical code that governed the behavior of both humans and natures. The concept of Matt was deeply intertwined with Egyptian religion and it influenced various aspects of daily life, government and religious practices. The ancient Egyptian kings were responsible for upholding Matt and maintaining order in society. During the annual festival known as the Feast of Maat, the ancient Egyptians reaffirmed their commitment to upholding these principles and maintaining the cosmic order. The festival involved rituals and ceremony including the reenactment of the weighing of the heart against the feather of Maat to ensure the renewal of the world and its order. The ancient Egyptians believed that if Maat wasn't respected and maintained, chaos would prevail, leading to societal disorder and natural calamities. Matt was often contrasted with the chaotic forces of evil represented by the nature set. It's clear that Matt is a concept. It's a concept represented in a symbol called Matt. So here, nature doesn't mean a goddess, it means a symbol. So Matt, for ancient Egyptians, was the symbol of fundamental order, balance, harmony, and truth in the universe.